Hi there everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Um, this is what we're looking at today, this is from uh, Triple Point Brewing in Sheffield. It's a barrel aged um, IPA called X2. Uh, it's actually barrel aged and a brute double IPA it says. And it's coming in at 9.2% uh, ABV. These guys are a decent brewer. Um, I've had a couple from these guys before and I think I've got one or two still on the shelves to drink. Um, yeah, they had one called, I think it was called 90 and that was delicious. I think I bought that in a growler, one litre growler and that just went down so easily. Whoa, 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 can we stop the video? Can we stop the video? I didn't say, I meant to say and I do apologise. I bought this from Yorkshire Craft Beers and I paid £7.95 for it. Okay, you can carry on now. Um, yeah, so I've never had any problems with them. Um, they've got a funky little, um, one of these um, swing caps, which I remember from my old Grosch, Grosch days, and I think you can still get Grosch in these. Ah. Okay, that poured quite lively. I think I've still got a little bit of uh, beer left. The, um, yeah, I didn't expect it to go like that, to be honest with you. I expected the, uh, expected a bit of a pop um, to get the brute aspect of it. It will be brewed on, I would guess, with some sort of champagne yeast. So yeah, you expect, hence the reason why it's held back by one of these corks, one of these stoppers. Yeah, I'm going to end up pouring this with a massive head out of So it is like, so it, because it's made with champagne yeast, um, it produces that sort of, that, that kind of fine carbonation. And what you expect from a drink that's uh, brewed with champagne yeast is you do expect it to um, behave and feel in the mouth like champagne. Just get all that in. Get all that in for now. I'll have a talk about it. So, uh, oh, yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. That was fun. So we have got uh, an amber hazy. Ale. It will be uh, unfiltered, I'm guessing, which is, is why that haze is there. So there will be little bits of um, sediment uh, float around there. I don't think they'll have brewed it with anything like, like oats that's giving it a haze. So it's purely sediment in there. And you can see that's got a huge head, which will start to dissipate quite quickly. 9.2% ABV beer shouldn't, although with the, the um, should, it, shouldn't, it, should, it shouldn't in theory keep a good head, but because it's got those fine champagne bubbles in there, it might keep it a little bit longer than most drinks. But as you can see, it's, it's starting to come down quite nicely as a head now. Right, let's get a sniff, shall we? I'm just getting a wine smell, wine aroma. So I'm guessing that's been aged in um, wine casks because it, it does just smell of wine. Right, taste test. Cheers everybody. That's pretty decent actually. Um, it tastes winey. It does taste winey. It's got an oak flavour to it. It's almost got an oaky bitterness to it at the back end, which is nice. 
and just got a quite There is some um, fruit flavours coming through now. Right at the back end, <clears throat> right at the back end, I am getting those um, bit of mango, bit of passion fruit coming through, so a few tropical fruit flavours coming through. A little bit of peach. <coughs> it is dry. Brick did say it was going to be dry. Um, there is a lovely, fine carbonation happening in there, which is making the whole thing feel quite smooth. say it tastes boozy doesn't taste 9.2 percent though but well, i was gonna say it's half a glass gone but i think half the glass is probably on the floor to be fair it is relatively you know you're drinking something alcoholic you know you're tasting something quite strong but it's not 9.2. It is fairly easy drinking from that perspective. It's actually quite a decent drink. That is going down very well. Very well indeed. Right label time. X2 Brute. It was a Brute when it opened. It was created by refermenting re the original IPA, double IPA. With champagne yeast resulting in the alcohol content increasing by a further 1.7%. The newly added lease builds up uh, vinous, vinous vin, wine type fruit and oak character, which is what we've got, uh, whilst reducing the body and creating a super dry brute champagne flavour to finish. Uh, these uh, these supremely complex beers are best enjoyed on their own or to complement to a cheese board with mature cheddar. I don't have in the alehouse any cheese. In the alehouse, I don't have any food. Uh, yeah, those, it says, oh, it, yeah, do you know what? Complex, these extremely complex beers. So, one thing I do like about these guys is they do produce stuff that's got really complex flavours. They don't just brew, or nothing I've had so far anyway has been a straightforward brew. <laughs> yeah, lots of blurb down there. Oh, the beer was aged in French oak barrels, originally used to mature Sauvignon Blanc wine. So we picked up the fact, obviously, that it was oaky. We picked up the fact that um, it was very winey in taste. <laughs> Uh, supplement the wine and barrel character. Half the barrels were inoculated with Brut Champagne yeast. Uh, yeah, it tells what the culture is. I don't know it. So, uh, hops Admiral, Chinook, uh, Sentinel, Mosaic, and Simcoe. So, the brewed uh, an IPA with some very fine hops most of them American um, yeah they've developed the strength through that process so they made it a double IPA and then they barrel aged it in these uh, old wine barrels old wooden wine barrels so initially initially I get in that wine a lot of that wine stuff, wine flavor has come through quite well and like I say, it's got that oakiness in there as well, so you know it's been matured in oak wine barrels. And I guess it'd be matured in wine barrels, because they're the flavours that are coming through. And right at the back end, once all that's subsided, 
you are getting some of those tropical fruit flavours uh, you'd expect from an IPA. That is, I have to say that's a really decent, um, that is a really decent beer. I am going to score that 8.5 out of 10. That's 8.5 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews. If you're not done already, please subscribe. Please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, click dislike. Helps me understand what to do, what videos you all like and don't like. Um, share it, comment, all that good stuff. Um, sorry I ended up, ended up on the floor. But with those champagne yeasts, um, it's like opening a bottle of champagne. Sometimes it's going to go everywhere. Should have anticipated that a little bit more, and I didn't. My bad. Um, but yeah, we are where we are. Um, until the next beer review. Cheers, everybody.